About a year ago, we received an email from an organization called the Friends of Jacqueline. And to be 100% honest, I did not know what that organization was, what they were about. What they do is they pair athletic teams with pediatric brain cancer and brain tumor um, individuals. And they had a family uh, that wanted to be paired with an FAU sports team. I thought it would be a great honor for our team to be paired with a little girl who's going through such a traumatic life experience and a family who's experiencing something that no family should ever have to go through. Uh, I want to tell you a little background on Gigi. Uh, when she was three, year, three years old in November of 2012, she uh, was diagnosed with her brain tumor. She underwent surgery. Um, it was a fairly lengthy surgery. After surgery came out, was all smiles, and then immediately after that went into cardiac arrest. Um, family was very worried, but this is a little fighter. Gigi has been fighting through so much. So I went back to the team after we found out all the information, and uh, they were, they, without a doubt, they wanted to be a part of this family's life. And last April, we had our first meeting with Gigi and her family. And they come in, and uh, Joe and Jerry Marr, her parents, like I said, strongest people, the most caring, nicest people I've ever been around. And then Joe Marr is uh, Gigi's brother. He comes in, absolutely great baseball player. So Coach Mack, if you're watching, got to get on him early. Um, and Gigi. And Gigi spent probably the first 15 minutes in her mom's shadow when we met her. And she was extremely shy, kind of scared. You got these big girls up here who want to uh, shower her with attention and love. And so we knew the best way to get to her was with a little teddy bear and a lot of FAU gear. So we gave her her gift and uh, she opened up. And from that moment on, I think she definitely feels like she's got 12 older sisters. Um, we've had time on the beach. We built sand castles. We had a birthday celebration for her to celebrate her fifth birthday here in the arena. Uh, it was a lot of fun to be a part of. We took the team up and surprised her at one of her t-ball games. And uh, it was a really cool experience to watch her. The team's chanting for her on the sideline. And uh, you know what, though she was focused, she was not trying to hear them. Uh, she was trying to get her outs and get up to bat. And it was so funny. She was the cutest thing out there. Um, we've played at the park with her. and. Here I think we have all these Division I athletes that are in the best shape of their life and Gigi is killing us, outrunning us all over the park. We were exhausted by that time the day ended um, and she was still fighting and ready to go. We're honored to be a part of this family's life and Gigi has taught us so many things. Uh, taught us never to take a second for granted, taught us, taught us how to live uh, for each moment and I think that's something that's important to our team especially when we have those moments where we feel like it's the end of the world, uh, we're having the toughest day. Really, is it any comparison to what this little girl is going through? So hopefully we were able to um, share a little with her. I know she's touched each one of our players' lives, and it is an extreme honor to have this family as a part of our family, and, and Gigi will be with us forever. And uh, she's got 12 big sisters right now who love her to death, and. Uh, will always cherish everything that she has given them. Gigi's our little sister. We absolutely love playing with her. She just makes me happy to be where I am. She makes me look at things differently. I mean, she's a five-year-old kid going through what she's going through and she smiles all the time, every day. And it's, it's awesome to see that see a little kid battling and still smiling, it just makes me smile all the time too, just thinking about it. We met Gigi uh, about a year ago, at the end of last year, and since then she's become a part of our family and their entire family has become a part of our basketball family. Um, a lot of people would think that this would mean the world for Gigi, but actually it means the world to our team. To have her with us, not only do we get to see her strength, but it brings out our strength. It's just, it just means the world for us to be a part of it. Gigi, you mean the world to us and we love you. We're so happy to have you here. Gigi, there's so much that you have taught us over the past few months, but I know that there's one thing that we have definitely taught you. So Jomar, Gigi, you guys ready? Throw up your owl fingers. We love you, Gigi!